We have just dropped off the children with their father for uh, a few days and we're going to head off to Hastings today. It's quite exciting. We'll go for a bit of a drive. Ah, yes, yeah, so we're going to take the electric bikes because I like taking electric bikes. And I've managed to do about, uh, I'm up to almost six months worth of running every day which is quite awesome. I don't know exactly what the format for today is going to be. I'm just going to do it on the fly. And we're home. Right, just gotta get that car loaded now. We need to get you fed, don't we, Jack? Albie? Oh, almost called you Jasper. Bye, Albie, see you in a couple of days. Car is loaded, we've got the bikes, we've got everything. I've even got my solar panels, some of them. So, our original plan was to go to South Mims, which is my normal sort of North London charging spot. The problem with South Mims, though, is it does get very busy, especially at the moment. So, I've just had a bit of a quick look on the map, and okay, so firstly, the Dartford Tunnel, I don't know what's happened to that, but it's like a two hour delay. So, I think we're just gonna miss that one out and, um, and try and go the other way around London and also I found this charger a brand new supercharger in Flimwell which is somewhere I have never been before in fact never even heard of before but it's got loads of free bays and it's quite close to our destination so it's actually gonna save me from doing what I usually have to do which is stopping at so, so basically what I hate doing is normally when we go to Hastings, where my mum's got this little house, we have to drive there and then stop five miles from our destination and charge for 50 minutes, which is maddening because there's no, you know, off street parking. There's no charging at my mum's place in Hastings. So the fact that this supercharger is quite close means that hopefully we don't have to do that. We can just stop here and zap the car for like 20 minutes and then we'll be done that's the plan so yeah <sighs> now all i've got to do is sit here patiently for the next two and a quarter hours as we go through the m25 traffic oh joy luckily i do enjoy driving my car still eight years and 160,000 miles later and it still brings a grin to my face so yeah, can't say fairer than that. This is the one time when I really do wish I had autopilot. Slow moving traffic, you've just got to keep it in lane and not bump into the car in front. Autopilot is perfect for that. And the other thing I just wanted to quickly mention is, I, I think these days people are starting to get their head around the idea that electric cars and traffic jams are not a problem, but just to make the point, when we pulled into this traffic jam, it said we would get to the supercharger with about 34% charge. And following a little bit of driving along at 20, 30 miles an hour, it now says we're gonna get there with 39% charge left over. So, and that's basically how it goes on the motorway. It is slightly different if you're stuck in traffic in a city where it stops and starts all the time, but provided it moves albeit slowly like it does usually in a traffic jam on a motorway your range improves not gets worse i'm very confused i've never been here before it's very interesting and exciting looking i don't know do they have toilets what is this place it's like got weird pod homes from the future <laughs> It's very strange. I'm not complaining though, because it's got a supercharger and we went up to the barrier and the barrier just opened, which was interesting. Right, I need to grab out my um, CCS adapter because this being a new supercharger, it, uh, it requires the CCS adapter. Okay. Ooh, 
we're in business. Right, now I just need to find a, a toilet. <laughs> there must be one of those around here somewhere. Right, so I just spoke to the person who's providing the toilets, who I think is a, a restauranty type place. And apparently this is a business park with a bike shop which is where I'm walking now. <laughs> Cause you know, I just can't say no. Oh, I see, yeah, look. We've got sort of pictures in that one and sort of pottery in that one and a desk in the next one along. I wonder if the, um, oh yes, I can see the bike place. I hope it's open. Ah, pay to park. Turns out this car park is not automatic number plate recognition, which means that if you're parked up charging, then you don't need to pay, it's free apparently. So hopefully I will not find myself with an expensive parking bill in a week's time. You've got to be so careful these days with the automatic number plate recognition like everywhere. You just drive innocently into a car park, change your mind, drive out and find yourself with a 70 quid bill seven days later. Anyway, that was fun. Very much a sort of mountain bikers bike shop that one which doesn't really surprise me because you know we're in that sort of leisure cycling area now as opposed to the sort of electric commuter bike sort of area right i think what we've decided to do is just charge for a minute here and then on the way back we'll stop here and get some lunch which means that i don't need to charge the car any more than it has already been charged The car's emptied, uh, we're here. I just have to go park my baby at the top of the hill and then cycle down. Wonderful. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. But I do really enjoy going down the hill at 30 miles an hour on a bike with teeny weeny whiny minuscule wheels. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you like. The links are in the description. I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreon supporters, because you're awesome. And I will see you all in the next episode of my vlog. Bye. You hear that? No. No dogs, no barking, no crying, no daddy I want my switch. <laughs> Just peace and quiet. Wow. <laughs> That's what I call a holiday. <laughs> giggly, giggly banana. <laughs> yes, we'd already done this and it was much funnier the first time. <laughs>